All right, this is a quick, real quick, a little tip. Wanted to show you guys real quick how to do a little wind sock. I guess you'd call it like a dead cat. Goes on a boom mic, actually, right here on the iPod Touch. Um, it's that. Wait, no, wait, it's not that. Hang on, let me go back here. Where's it at? Oh, you've probably seen them. They look like that. They go over the. <laughs> yeah, that's real useful. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Where is it at? There we go. There's one. Looks something like that. You can kind of see. Well, we're going to make our own little version of that on our digital SLR. I got the Canon T2i right here. And you can kind of see, here's the mic. Now, this is just, I actually use the camera mic a lot. When I'm just out just shooting stuff, I flip it into video mode. And I'm like, oh, man, I, I always get bummed out when I get home. And the audio's got all this wind chopping through it. And it's all crappy. So, Here's a quick little trick, and um, here it is, real quick at you. Basically, what we're going to do is we get some sticky tack. And this is, um, I have some different variations I was trying. This is like the simplest, easiest, non, uh, it does not mess up your camera, which is the main thing. I hate permanent. I would never want to stick an actual sticker. But you get some of this sticky tack, and we're going to just roll it out like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of ball it up and make like a ring like this. And, um... You can see right here what we're going to do is we're going to put it right around the outside of that mic area. You can kind of see, make sure it's this, there it is, nice and clear of any obstructions. And then what I did was I got my little teddy bear here and had to cut a little bit out. This bear donated for this cause. So I cut out my little um, piece of fur. And we're going to stick it right on like that. Boom. And uh, sorry, I'm kind of working it here. I just wanted to upload this real quick so you guys could see this. This thing works. It works. And the cool thing about it is uh, you can just peel it off if you want to get live audio. Cause it, and it really doesn't break down the audio. I was going to go test it out. It was raining today, so I didn't get to. Didn't feel like setting up the fan. But trust me, try it out. It works. I mean... Literally, free teddy bear, cut a little piece off. This stuff costs like a buck and you get a whole pack. Um, this is like the generic brand. I would definitely probably buy the, the nice brand because this doesn't work super good. It's not super sticky, but boom, put that on there. And the best part about this is, I think, for me, you peel it off and you can actually use it to clean up some of the extra dust and stuff. But it's so non-obstrusive, non I don't know. It doesn't leave any residue. I, don't, I would not want to stick a permanent adhesive. And that's the big thing because, like, I have another version that I made with this Velcro stuff. But it's, like, wicked sticky. So it's another alternative you could try. I didn't use Velcro. I used this. This is, like, a 3M brand. It's lock in place. And it's got a different type of thing to it. And you can kind of see. Now, this is the next step up if you want to get more serious because it you know it's removable but the thing that I like about it is this is the brand that has the uh, this little pull tab that is like a padded layer and I stuck this on another camera on my ZI8 I'm gonna show that in another video and the cool thing about it is you can it's pretty it's permanent as far as it doesn't come off but as soon as you peel it it comes completely off there's no sticky residue and that's the big thing but I know one thing you might notice on the Canon or the yeah, the Canon here this this area is kind of tricky because it's so curvy. So setting up the Velcro on it was just, it just didn't feel right. So best alternative was the sticky tack stuff. A little bit of fur, test it out. That's that. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to check out my other tutorial on the ZI-8, I got some actual test footage there. And um, you can use it on a flip camera, any really pocket camera, even your iPhone if you have one. Um, the sticky tack probably is the best way to go though. You can put this on any camera. Even the camera I'm recording this on has a mic with a crazy uh, stereo adapter on the front. And you can just roll this out and put it all any in any weird spot and just stack it up the way you want it. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Nip chirp.